Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be solving question 17 from the second chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook, Engineering Mechanics. And in this question, we know that the tension in one rope is 120, and we need to determine what trigonometry, the magnitude and direction of the force P, so that the resultant is a vertical force of 160 Newton. So we need to find the magnitude as well as the direction or the angle alpha that we have in here so this is a question similar to 2.5 uh we already solved this question in the channel i'm going to put the video at the end of this video so it should be showing up on this screen so feel free to check that one out if we want to see more examples like around this question so what we're going to do in here is that the question is saying that the resultant of these two forces is 160 newton and it has to be vertical so if I want to show these two forces in here, the first force is the 120 Newton, which makes 25 degrees with our vertical point. And we have the force P in here, which we have to figure out the magnitude. And the resultant of these two would be the vector that connects the beginning to the end of P. That would be our R, which from the question we know is 160 Newton. So we have to solve this with trigonometry, meaning we have to use the law of sines and cosine. Let's start with law of cosines, see what we can find with that. So we have this triangle and based on the law of cosines, we know P squared is equal to 120 squared plus R squared, which is 160 minus two times 120 times 160. And we're going to go with the cosine of the angle right in front of this side which is the 25 degrees so everything is known in here we should be able to find the p so our p would be basically the square root of whatever we have in the previous step let's figure that out so we have 120 squared plus 160 squared uh, minus 2 times 120 times 160 times cosine of 25. So that's going to be 5197.78. And if we find the square root of this, it's going to give us 72.096 Newton. So we found P. And now we need to figure out the direction in here or the angle alpha that P makes with our vertical line so this is our alpha so which means this one is alpha 2 now we're going to use the law of sines to find this one so we are interested in sine of alpha so sine of alpha since we are looking for alpha over the front side 120 is equal to we're going to go with the sine of 25 since we already have the angle over what we found for p 72.096 and if we cross multiply this we're going to find the sine of alpha which will be 120 times sine of 25 divided by 72.096 let's see what we're going to find for this 120 times sine of 25 divided by 72.096 and that's going to be 0 0.703. So our alpha would be sine inverse of 0 0.73. So sine inverse of the answer, which is going to give us 44.703 degrees. So yeah, that would be the final answer for this question we found both magnitude and direction the answer for the question 2.5 should be showing up on the screen now if you guys need to check it out we're covering different textbooks in this channel uh feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one